Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. You can check the description for all my information. I have uh, LeetCode Premium Problem Solutions on my Patreon. And uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can hit me up on uh, Discord to try and get back to everyone. This is a problem that I've solved, but for some reason I just uh, never made a video for it. So I, I have it in the algorithm study guide, but um, I didn't uh, make this format, so we'll do that. Uh, 414, third maximum number. This is given a non-empty array of integers, return the third maximum number of an array. So we give an array in integers. It doesn't have to be, it's not sorted. Um, it doesn't have to be sorted, and we want to return the third max. So if it doesn't exist, return the maximum number. Time complexity must be linear. Okay, so you can't sort, sorting takes n log n, so you can't just sort it, um, because that's too slow. So we want a linear solution. And uh, a hard-coded solution is pretty easy. One thing you have to notice is if we look at these test cases, third max here is one, that's obvious. Third max here doesn't exist, so we return the maximum because it says to do that. Uh, it says if it doesn't exist, return the max. So there's no third number at all. So you want to just return the max of these two, which is two. In this case, look at this. This is what we have to note. The third maximum here means the third distinct number. So what I would have thought is, okay, we have a three, this is the max, second max, this is the third max, but that's not the case. It needs distinct numbers. So apparently both of these count as the uh, second max. So that's something we really have to pay attention to. Okay, other than that, the solution I'm gonna go with is just having three variables for max, third max, and second max, and third max, and then just setting them as we loop through a linear solution. Uh, not exactly scalable. If you want a scalable solution, you might want to use like a heap and then you can go up to whatever number you want, um, like the seventh maximum or eighth maximum. Um, I think a heap would work in that case, but um, we're going to use the integer class because um, we can actually set these variables to null at first, which comes in handy, makes it a lot more smooth. Um, third max, sorry, equals null. Um, just for this loop because we can loop for num in uh, nums and what we can do is we can say okay if um, if max is null first of all uh, or if uh, no, the current number is greater than the max that's when we want to set the max to the current number right because if it's null um, anything is going to be greater than the maximum, it's null, right? So if it's negative 50, negative 50 is better than null, so we set it to whatever number. After that, if it's negative 50, and then we see like 100, 100 is greater than negative 50, so we want to set the maximum, right? Else, uh, and then we'll just copy this if, and this is going to be the same for the other ones, pretty much. It's going to be except um, if second max is null, and num is greater than second max, if third max is null, and num is greater than third max, and we want to say second max is equal to num, third max is equal to num. So if second max is null and we find a number that's after we set max, then um, that'll set second max to the current number, which is better than null. Uh, same with third max, and if we find a greater number, it'll set those. So this is all good. The only thing we have to worry about, this is fine, right? third maximum gets set. If we find a number greater than the third maximum, it gets set. That's fine. If the second maximum gets set, you have to think about this. The second maximum then gets bumped down to the third maximum because we're finding a number greater than it. We're finding a number greater than, you know, we have the highest number, the second highest number. And if we find a number greater than the second highest number, it's like it got passed in a race. So it gets bumped down a spot. So it would actually become the third maximum. So what we want to do is we want to set third max equal to second max before we lose reference to it. Um, so before second max gets set to the greater number, we'll just set third max to second max because it got bumped out. And it's the same exact idea for this. When we find a number greater than the maximum, we set the second maximum to the maximum because that gets bumped down. And we set the third maximum to the second max before that happens as well so we don't lose uh, references. And uh, yeah, this should be good to go. The only thing, like I said earlier, is we have to worry about those distinct numbers. So that's why we use that wrapper class because it's easy. We can do dot equals and uh, just check um, if, well, first of all, the null part is good because you could have set it to null and we could check if it was set to null. And also the wrapper class is good because we can use dot equals and say, 
um, if num dot equals uh, max or second max or third max, it's not distinct. So we can just continue through the loop. There's no point of even doing anything because it's not going to, whatever operations we do are going to be useless with these numbers, right? If the second max is set to two and we see another two, it's going to, we're not doing anything like we saw in that example, right? So when we see this two, we set second max to two. And then we see another two, and it's like, okay, well, nothing's going to happen. It's still the same. So we just continue. Um, now all we have to do at the end is these will get set throughout the loop. This is just a linear loop through the array. If third max is null at the end, like the problem description says, we just want to return max. Otherwise, we can return third max, and we should be uh, in the clear so there we go that's your linear solution if you're looking for something scalable so that like they can give you like um int k where k is the you know whatever degree maximum you want like the seven if k was seven you want the seventh max or if k was six you want the six max uh check out maybe using a heap or something like that that's probably a better idea but um it does take up space so so if it's strictly this question you want to do the hard-coded version so for this specific question this was a perfectly good solution linear time let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any questions I think it's pretty straightforward pretty easy and um appreciate you guys love everyone that watches the videos thank you guys i try and make them as much as i can if you have any problems you want me to do send them in the discord uh that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one